Thank you. Mr. Hudson, how's it going today? I'm fine, Bernard. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm just happy to talk to you, man. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Of course. Good, good. So let's jump right into this. Um, You have been very open about your love-hate for this, for the character Winston Zedmore. Did his new arc in Ghostbusters Afterlife play any part in your decision to come back? Well, I think I probably would have come back because it has been such an important part of my life over the last almost 40 years. Uh, and I know the fans, you know, any issues I had regarding Ghostbusters had nothing to do with the fans because the fans have been just so supportive and uh, and so so loyal. But I think the biggest decision to come back was the fact that Jason Reitman, who I've known since he was a kid, and I just, he's such a, I knew he would always be fair, and I knew that he um, loved the franchise as much, and I know that um, um, the tribute he made to Harold Ramis, um, I thought was really special, but also appreciate the fact that he acknowledged Winston and gave Winston that extra dimension of being a human being um, that, um, not that, you know, the other, the other movies, but, but it, it gave some substance to it. And, uh, and that was, um, I really appreciated that, but I knew that Jason would do it right. So that was, that was my biggest reason for wanting. Now, if it, no matter what it would have been, if the money was right, you know, I would have been showing up for work. <laughs> Let's get real. <laughs> but, but I wanted to do this movie because, uh, Jason was, was at the head of it. Yeah, he did an excellent job. Now, Ghostbusters Afterlife does a very good job of paying homage to Ivan Reitman's original film, and yeah. at, but at its and rewarding lifelong fans a, a movie that they've always been waiting for. But at right. its core, it is an uh, introduces a new cast of Ghostbusters and hopes to bring in new fans. Do you would do you think there'll be more Ghostbusters films and you know uh, in the future? Yeah, I think it depends on what they do. You know, this movie paid, like I said, homage to the other first two movies, especially. And mm -hmm. it, it brought the Ghostbuster family that's all over the world together. Uh, and it's a good movie. But I think if to move forward, where do you go with that? You know, and that's really what, you know, what I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. I mean, we got, you know, there's ghosts. If there are ghosts, they're all over the world. You know what I mean? Ghosts in Harlem and there's ghosts in there's ghosts <laughs> disposably everywhere. So um, and they can get really scary or they can look like Slimer or whatever. But so it's the possibilities, but how they build that that Ghostbuster universe that what we want to go and take that journey with, that will be that the next movie will determine that. And I think there will be a next movie. The fact that this one is successful. Um, but um I think the next movie is going to be really, really uh, important because we won't be able to ride on the, the other movies. It'll need to stand on its own. So, and if whatever it is, I hope I'm a part of it, but, um, but we'll see, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, speaking of that, um, if there is a next movie, what kind of role do you see Winston playing in the other Ghostbusters movies? Maybe being a mentor to the new Ghostbusters or just suiting up with them and doing more Ghostbusting? Yeah, well, you know that um, you saw the movie, saw the last scene in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. They uh, at the end of the credits, well, Winston yes. is so now Winston's got a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool right there, you know. So and, uh, <laughs> and, he, and he bought the uh, he bought the car and and the, the firehouse. So um, and the fact that he says he'll always be a Ghostbuster, I think he'll definitely be. I mean, maybe that you know, guy who runs the, the thing or whatever. I mean, I don't know. They never tell me what, if there's <laughs> anything. I hate to get my hopes up and suddenly Eddie Murphy, <laughs> Winston, you know, it's like, it's just Hollywood. So, but, uh, but I think, yeah, I think Winston will be, uh, I don't think he'll be the guy running around necessarily. Um, you know, that'll be to the younger people, uh, probably. I mean, I, I, this is all just me, you know. Certainly he's physically able to do that. But, um, yeah, so I, you know, I, I don't, Sam Jackson and all the Marvel movies, whatever, you know, that, um, that character he plays, it shows up. So, uh, I don't know, but it, my line from the first movie, hey man, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I believe anything you say. So, uh, <laughs> amen to that. Amen to that. And 
that's my that's my time. I could talk to you all day. It was a pleasure talking to you, man. Um, I just want to say that um, my dad my, always gets compared to you, and that, that's always like a thing. Like you guys look exactly alike, so seeing this oh wow, kind of cool man. So, oh yeah. wow, that uh, yeah. How old is your dad? My dad is about uh, eighty. I was like, okay, yeah. So we're right in that same school, yeah. So well, anyway, man, give my best <laughs> to your dad, and uh, yeah, just um, take good care of yourself, man. You know, this all coming. right, man. Thank you, appreciate it, man. Yeah, best of luck to you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you. Yeah.